It's been nearly two years since Kokomo woman Kelly Armstrong went missing. Her accused killer is behind bars, but her body has still not been recovered. News 18's Kelly Roberts spoke with Armstrong's family today about what's next in the search for their daughter. It seems like it was just yesterday. Well, I don't get to hear her laugh anymore or cry with me. Um, it's, it's, it's been hard. The last year and nine months have been hard for Teresa Edwards. In 2011, her daughter Kelly Armstrong was reported missing in Kokomo. By the beginning of 2012, Travis Funky, Armstrong's boyfriend, admitted to police he killed her with a hammer inside their mobile home. In February, a judge accepted a plea deal which had Funky pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter. He received 35 years in prison and 15 years probation. As part of the agreement, Funky must cooperate with police and tell them where Armstrong's body is. Yet, nearly two years after Armstrong was reported missing, her body has not been found. I went and seen Travis four times uh, while he was in jail, hoping. And he, I mean, he did give me some hope. It's been several months since he was convicted. Uh, he's had plenty of time, and, and they're not enforcing this plea agreement. So, therefore, I'm thinking the plea agreement should be void. But the search for Kelly continues. Her father, David Armstrong, says the family hired Indiana Canine Search and Recovery Incorporated to search a field about a mile from Kelly's mobile home. In the report sent to Edwards, it says the canines did not indicate that there is a body in the area, but says a section of the field may need more investigating. Armstrong wants to get into the area to see if something is there, but has not received permission from the landowner to do so. It could be somebody that's 200 years old. It could be somebody from 10 years ago. It could be, it could be anybody. I mean, there's 50-50 chance that it's my daughter. The team at Indiana Canine Search and Recovery did not have a con for this report. Kokomo police tell News 18 they went into the area with another K-9 team but did not find any indications a body could be there. A request for an on-camera interview was not returned by the department. We just want to be able to bring her home, give her a proper burial and set her headstone. Reporting in Kokomo, Kelly Roberts, News 18.